What's up guys, Jez here from Whisker Fight and welcome to another episode of Whisker Fight TV. It is episode 130 of uh, your favorite whiskey, your favorite weekly whiskey TV show where I open up bottles that you guys have probably walked past 101 times in your local store. But this week uh, we're going something what you guys would probably call bottom shelf, um, and I'd call we haven't seen it on the shelf in ages. I've had it sitting around for a while, and I'm like, do you know what? Let's let's pop this bottle. So, I will grab my handle, not really handle. It's more a liter of Four Roses. Now, this bottle of Four Roses, Four Roses, Four Car Roses. <laughs> it is. 80 proof, 40%, uh, and five years old, <laughs> new chart, American oak cask. Ugh, this is a good start. <laughs> it is um, about 60 bucks for 700 mils or 89 bucks for one liter and about 20 to 28 bucks in the United States of America. Now, Grab my trusty Whiskify glass and we'll get this sucker poured out. Now, as I said, cask New Chart American Oak and it runs a mash bill of 75% corn, 20% rye and 5% malted barley and 60% corn, 35% rye and 5% malted barley. Now, that is a blend of mash bill E and mash bill B. Check your little unscrew and come in nice and close for the pour. We are 10 eps since last spill, so. I don't know if she dribbled, but it's a cheeky little pour. So let's crack into these expression notes and info for everyone playing at home. So who knows? The story of I guess Four Roses because I didn't I had to google this I was like I'm not sure how Four Roses started but let us crack in to that little gem of information so it begins with the founder Paul Jones Jr became smitten by a southern belle aka as we call them out here honeys right damn honeys will get ya where do the wise it is said that he sent a proposal to her. If uh, she responded yes, she would wear a corsage of roses to an upcoming ball. But that kind of reminds me of a joke. Kid playing at home, cover your ears. <laughs> if, uh, actually there shouldn't be any kids watching this. This is me, I'm 12, so you know, whatever. Um, what did Cinderella say when she got to the ball. She gagged and she took it like a champ. <laughs> ah, get it? Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so Paul Jones waited for a response uh, at the ball. Like, obviously, why would you not get that information prior? Like, if you're waiting for someone, like, why would you wait at the ball? I'd wait at home, then they respond, but obviously they're sending carrier pigeons because, you know, 18, whatever, 18 something or other. I thought it was on there. Oh, yeah, 1888. Well, that'd, that'd be why it'd be carrier pigeon. Jesus. Uh, yeah, she arrived wearing a corsage of four red roses. Wild, huh? It's crazy. Girl, you're crazy. He later named his bourbon four roses after his passion for the honey. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. It's a nice little story, isn't it? It's great. Four roses, yellow label, 80 proof, is made up of 10 recipes consisting of mash bills, as we covered earlier, mash bill E and mash bill B to make up the blend. As I said, mash bill E is 75% corn, 20% rye and 5% malted barley, and mash bill B is 60% corn, 35% rye and 5% malted barley. So, 
let us kind of crack into these uh, tasting notes and then you guys can hear my thoughts on the burbs. So, straight off the top, give that a bit of a, a swishy swish. Hmm, interesting. I, um, yeah, so straight off the bat, I'm getting this like a lemon lemon citrus note uh i'd probably put it very similar to like a uh larceny like 92 proof uh the joe c single barrel pick i tried i was like i was very lemon pie-esque but yeah so heavy heavy citrus just on the nose there it's got this the apple like apple slice note apple slice but like slices of apple you know that I also want to say I'd like some honey there as well not the southern bell kind of honey the drizzle honey apple slices drizzled in honey maybe some lemons involved sounds like a good time right no it's good time yeah just super light right Floral notes there, light, light sipper. Easy, right? For the taste. So, said taste, don't know why I said taste. Just on the palate there. I say, kind of like a, I don't know. Thin viscosity? Say thin. I'm back in thin. It's fine. And like a thin viscosity, and like a medium level of spice, just kind of coating that tongue, but it's mainly focusing in the, just around the mid tongue there. As I gave it a Kentucky chew, it lingered a little bit more on the floral side, but we still saw some of those uh, translatable apples that kind of came over as well. And just for the finish now. Hmm. All right, so for that, I bring it back to like a medium, medium finish with like a, still those honeys and like a, a touch of spice thrown in. But just as I'm kind of like talking to you, talking to you, playing at home, I get like this flat cola note as well. I don't know where that came from, but it kind of just threw itself in there just at the back end. And I'm like, okay, okay, I see you. I see you over there watching, like tasting, sniffing, mm-hmm, enjoying. But now that leads us into the buy bar or pass. Now, I'm gonna kind of kick it off with straight off the bat. Nose has like fruit salad vibes. If you like that kind of stuff where it's like apple slices, hints of honey, floral and light, lemon citrus, basically my, my entire nose tasting notes, it's, hey, it'll be right up your alley. If you um, you like that kind of stuff, it's, it's there for you. Now, secondly, it's priced really well for what it is. So 80 proof at 60 bucks, um, like we're living around the like entry level Jim Beam category um, with your like uh, black labels, uh, your what else do we have around that price mark? You get your bullets, um, dickles, like just stuff like that. So it's it's in there, it's in and amongst it. It's a good time. I'm all for that. And thirdly, uh, it's super versatile if you want to use it in a cocktail or sip neat. I'm currently sipping this neat. And I like I'm enjoying it. So you guys will know what way this is going to go. But I'm sure you can build it out to like a. You could probably throw it in a gold rush or something. And I feel like it would shine really well. But that's hey, that's just me. Um, but yeah, I'm going to mark this down as a buy. I will pick up another bottle if I make my way through this. I might even throw it in a couple of cocktails. We'll see how we go. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode of Whiskey Wednesday with Jez on Whiskify TV. Even though we don't call it Whiskify TV anymore. 
But um, yeah, it's just whisker for now. But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love every single one of you. Hopefully everyone has a fantastic week because we're halfway through the week. And uh, yeah, we're just enjoying the good juice. So please let me know what you think. Love y'all. Stay thirsty. I'm Jez.